Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see a recruitment news from NIELIT, that is National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology. So it is a government organization which is coming under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Okay, so it is specially for the electronics people. So this is a big recruitment for the electronics branch. Okay, so uh, there is two posts for which the recruitment is happening. The first post is scientist B with 10 vacancies and second post is scientific assistant A with 39 vacancies okay so there is a lot of openings so we'll be seeing all details in this video that is the qualification details the application procedure the selection procedure the age limit salary everything we'll be seeing in this video okay and also this is a recruitment for freshers so please do watch this video till the end okay so the post details let us see first that is the first post is scientist B and the second post is scientific assistant A. So scientist B is having 10 vacancies and scientific assistant A is having 39 vacancies. Okay, so only the short uh, notice or short advertisement is out. The detailed advertisement will be available on the uh, official website from 2nd of December only. Okay, so from 2nd of December, you can start applying for this post. Okay. Now, moving on to the salary details, the salary is ranging from 56,100 to 1,77,500 for scientist B post. Okay, so the salary is for the scientist post, salary is from 56,100 onwards. Okay, and for the second post, that is scientific assistant A, the salary is from 35,400 to 1,000,000. 12,400 okay so that is the salary details for both the posts moving on to the qualification details for the first post that is scientific uh, scientist b post the qualification they are asking is b or b tech in the branches electronics and communication engineering or electronics and telecommunication engineering or computer applications or computer science engineering or if you have msc also then you are also eligible in these branches or if you have me or m tech or m phil then also you are eligible okay so that is all about the qualification details for the scientist b post now for the scientific assistant a the qualification they are asking is you should be having either msc or ms or mca or b or b tech in the branches like electronics or electronics and communication engineering or electronics and telecommunication engineering computer science, computer and networking, information technology or informatics. So mainly this uh, organization is looking for people from the electronics branch and the computer science and IT branch. Okay, Because it is coming under the Ministry of Electronics and IT, they are specially looking for people from electronics and IT or computer science branch. Okay, So this is a big opening for all these branches. Okay, Now moving on to the age limit, the upper age limit is 30 years. And also there is age relaxation for all the reserved categories as per the reservation rules of government of India. Okay, so that is the age limit. And about the place of posting, this is also a very famous question in the comment box. So the place of posting is mainly on New Delhi and all around India. Okay, so that is all about the place of posting and the age limit. Now moving on to the selection procedure. For the scientist post, there will be a written, exa written examination. That is an OMR based examination will be there and plus there will be an interview. So there is a test plus interview that is a selection process for scientist B post. And for the test that is your examination, written examination, you have to prepare the areas like general awareness, quantitative aptitude, reasoning, then uh, English subject plus your subject area. Okay, so that is the syllabus for the uh, examination for scientist post and for the scientific assistant post there will be only test there is no interview okay and also we'll be doing a separate video on the test exam pattern and the syllabus of this recruitment okay if you are interested in watching please do mention in the comment section okay we'll be doing a separate video discussing the uh, type of questions that can come and also the exam pattern and the syllabus okay so that's all for the selection process and also uh, for the scientist uh, selection process after the test there will be a document verification only after the document verification you will be called for the interview okay so that is the detailed selection process 
Now, moving on to the exam locations. This is also another very important or the famous question uh, I receive. There is exam locations in all major cities of India. You can see on the screen now which all locations have test centers. Okay, because a lot of people has this question in their mind that whether there is uh, exam center in their city or not. Okay, so I think mostly all the major cities of India there is they are having exam centers. Okay, now moving on to the application procedure. So the application procedure is you have to go to apply slash delhi dot nielit.gov.in that is their website for uh, Delhi location so you have to uh, log into that site and then you have to apply online so you have to fill up all the necessary details your uh, personal details mail id phone number along with your uh, educational details qualification details and your photo and signature all those things you have to upload and you have to apply online okay so that is the application procedure and the application starts from 2nd of December to 31st of December. Till the end of December there is time. But I think that you can apply as soon as possible. Because there is opening for freshers and, lot, and a lot of people are actually eligible. Okay, And also there is fees. Talking about the fees, for the general category the fees is 800 rupees. And for the SCST category and for women candidates there is no fees. Okay, They are exempted from the fees. So this is a big opening especially for the electronics people. So if you are a regular viewer of this channel, I would suggest you to apply for this course because this is for electronics people especially. So if you think that you are eligible first, uh, go through the notification and details, see all the major uh, details and if you think that you are eligible, please do apply for it as soon as possible. I will be posting the link in description. You can directly apply from there and don't wait till 31st of December. Okay. So if you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do share it with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.